Hey gamers, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm going to cover some of the Tokyo Game Show. Today I'm going to cover Eudian Chronicles 100 Heroes. I want to have a look at the trailer, have a quick react to that. So we're going to jump into that right now. 505 Games. Rabbit and Bear Studios. I made a promise and I won't stand down. Oh. Looks fantastic already. Dark man. Kangaroo. <laughs> It's like a classic, man. Oh, nice. Turn base system. One on one jewels. Oh! Where my medal has got me. Maybe I understand Emperor and League. A true RPG from back in the good old days. Looks fantastic. Look at that world. More than a hundred playable characters. Game is nice and area right here yeah, from the secret. Area. What more can be said? Coming 2023 to all platforms. Absolutely every platform. You know, Game Pass, Series X, Xbox One. Steam, Switch, PS4, <laughs> Epic Games, GOG Games. It's going. It's, it's everywhere. It's going to be amazing. That is that is incredible. Like, you know me, I love my classic RPGs. I love RPGs and JRPGs. And to have the creators of Sukaden work on this new game and then them advertise it as a classic JRPG from back in the good old days. That's really good. There's a couple of things I want to talk about on this trailer. I'm just going to mute the music so I don't keep getting smashed with copyright stuff. So this is an interesting setup. Like, look, we've got the dual system. So I don't know if, if the people watching this are familiar with this super code and uh, format of dueling. When you get into a big boss battle, you end up dueling like one of the great generals, or, you know, or something like that. And it was always such an intense moment because it gives you multiple choice of attack, defend, and special attack. And when it gave you that choice, you could experience loss. There's a there's a battle way back in Sukunin where Pan has to fight uh, General Teal McDowell, and depending on what you did in that fight, could change the course of the story really really badly you know you could lose the the good secret ending if you uh you know made some wrong choices in that fight so yeah it's really really uh apparent that they're, they're trying to relive that old sukaden hype and it's probably the reason why konami has done the hd remaster of Su sukoden 1 and 2 which looks great by the way I've, I've done another video on that on my youtube channel but yeah, this 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 looks great. I'm, I'm super excited. So let's let's go through it. So let's have a look. They're there. They're talking. Let's see what they say. Then we have to settle this with steel. I won't retreat. Neither will I. Then we'll have to settle this with trail. And then look at that. They're jumping in. Proper anime moment, you know. And look at the soldiers around them. The the uh, your party members are trying to keep the other members occupied. Union Chronicles 100 Heroes became the number one funded Kickstarter video game of 2020. I'm so glad as well that people got behind this because that shows that people want this kind of game. 
and Konami just took a back seat. They made some phenomenal uh, JRPGs. They made uh, Azure Dreams. They made the Sukaden series. Not to mention they did Silent Hill and and uh, Metal Gear Solid. And there was a really good game company. And some of their mini games inside their inside their JRPGs were awesome. Like, they were they were really really well thought out. And then they just took a back seat and just went into all the Chenko business, which was unfortunate. But then this being crowdfunded shows that people still want this kind of game i mean i know why i do i'm sick of these open dead open world games and i'm sick of these multiplayer games where you have to have an internet connection and all that stuff i'm tired of it i'm absolutely burnt out from it but elden ring was a nice a nice change from all of that and now when i play modern games now that just don't get that just doesn't hit right anymore i don't know about you guys comment down below what you think but to me i'm not feeling it i've gone i've actually gone back to my old games I'm, I'm enjoying playing my old games more than i'll enjoy playing this new trash that's out now so this is interesting look look at the diversity of the characters look how nice that looks like sprite animation and sprite art has come such a long way this gets me so excited characters are juno canalano kawano so you can one and two and shadows of destiny there you go, you know what I mean? So, Suikoden did have a very diverse culture in it. You know, you had the elves, the dwarves, the kobolds, so many things. You had the dragon knights. It was, it's a good game. Like, go and play it, guys, honestly. Uh, if not, wait until the HD remastered, then go play it. Honestly, wait for the HD remastered, then go play it. You'll have a much more better experience doing that now because it'll be more fresh and modern. But if you want the original experience, go play the original 1 and 2. But yeah, the secret in 1 and 2, character designers on board. If you're a GR, JRPG fan, tell me that doesn't look amazing. Some classic old style monsters there. Secret in Tactics, so oh my god, there's going to be some good strategies in this, guys. There's that duel again, producer and art director, Unichi Mura. Muraka Kami Castlevania. It's gonna be good guys. What do you th I think it's gonna be great? Classic magic. Dire Ocean series and Wild Arms series. Yes! It's got the fundamentals there, guys. And then this is an interesting thing. Like I always liked these kind of things. Uh, one game that did this really well was uh, Breath of Fire, was the camp scenes. And Grandia, Grandia did this really well. Like when you're on the adventure, having the ability to camp out and get to know each characters and backstories and have them interchange with each other's lives and see their perspectives and see their thoughts. That is such a good little detail and easy detail to add into any any game that has multiple party members to build not only immersion in the world but rapport with the characters and once you build that rapport with the characters you start falling in love with the game but then what they need to do is add stakes into the game you know you can lose that character one game that does that really really well is state of decay you know you get a report a character you take him out on adventure you don't want him to die but then he does die or he could die and you get into those intense situations these are little things that make a good game because it's good storytelling. Things I do hope for this game is I, uh, I hope, I hope it's, it's got like a very good world to explore. I mean, the, the open world format is good. With JRPGs, you get those random encounters, don't you, which, which fills the world up. And then on today, you don't really get that anymore. You get enemies around the world. Uh, Grandia did that in a really good way. You to skip the battle, you got to sneak around the monster. It made you think as well. So, you know, taking a little bit of that kind of inspiration is, is pretty good. I want the world to be explored. And if it is a linear area, I want that linear area to be massive, right? And give me a really good reason why I can't can't go there not just oh you can't go there give me a good reason make it make it like even if you tried to go through it you, there's no way you could you know what i mean it's i like that kind of stuff i just don't like those things where it's like i'll give a i'll give a uh, example ghost of shishima i love ghost of shishima but when i jump in the water and i'm able to swim but then i swim out to a boat and it's like go back in five seconds or you will drown i just don't like that oh you get up to a fortress that you're not meant to take and it's just invisible archers just 
arrows coming down you've killed all the enemies but invisible archers are just coming down arrows they're not even being fired by a player so that's the kind of stuff that i'm talking about but the old classic rpgs you had borders like in suken one and two you had like patrolled borders and stuff like that. you couldn't get past them and if you couldn't really go through them, but it gave you the suggestion that if you tried a giant army would come and kill you and all that stuff one thing i would like to see in a jrpg is not having a main protagonist now i know people are looking at probably look and go what I, mean, I want to be able to choose the main protagonist right i want the story to have an overall flow but i always thought that to make a jrpg or an rpg now a innovative experience i want to be able to choose my entire party members right maybe there is one hero that does everything he does become the leader or whatever he's the main resistance but if you've got a hundred playable characters i want the ability to choose my party members and not have to have that main hero in my party all the time i think that would just be a nice refreshing look because then you can really mix stuff up if you're a for the looks of this it looks like it's going off the classic sukadan uh rebels versus imperial freedom fighters versus tyranny empire and legion i think it said in this one and we got this again going back to the camp scene it tells us a little bit about it i think with this little bit here i mean i know they're putting this in to let us know but i want to experience this through story i don't want to be told that oh noah is a uh, brash young man who throws himself into war all the time i want to see him do that i want to see him act brash so i can build that interpretation up for myself i know where my medal he's got me looks like noah is the uh or noah is the main protagonist there may this discovery be a symbol of our friendship may it bind us empire and league an imperial officer in pursuit of, of his vision mm. he looks like a sly character doesn't he very calculating man this is what gets me excited the true grpg from the good old days is back in 2.5d high quality so insanely high quality we can see that already i mean look at this world just look at that you got that like, depth of field you got foreground background like yeah many levels up and down it's it's like they've taken all the modern things that make a nice modern game and put it into the old retro style jrpg style that is so good deep story with more than a hundred playable characters i mean just look how diverse that this cast is you got this you got this uh, otter here in his japanese bath house thing and then you got samurai samurai warrior i mean you got this wolf man insane and then this death looking dude and samurai ronin girl there and then you got an artist you got this cool looking dude over here looks like a martial artist you know, got, oh, another wizard there, magic user. This guy looks like he's from the Middle East. He used dual swords, maybe. Yeah, sword and a dagger, it looks like there. Look at all these characters. Oh, my inner weeb is happy about this. So good. Are you ready for this new masterpiece? Yes! Take my goddamn money. Take it right now. That's Like I said, I hope it's not a letdown. I hope it's really, really good. It's it's coming in 2023. It's incredible. Cannot wait for this. Okay, guys. Thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're watching this on TikTok, follow me on YouTube. Yeah, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. UK time. So come and hang out. Why not? Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next one real soon. Take it easy.